Hi, this is Janos, it's Real World Audio, and we are continuing our exploration of uh, how to find the proper power amplifier for your loudspeaker. And for that, you need to know the, how hard your loudspeaker is to drive, what it demands for the amplifier, because as we saw in the previous episode, the how loud it can play with the amplifier it depends on the amp, how good your bass response will be depends on the amp, and how much your combo will distort, how much distortion you are getting or not getting, that also depends on the amplifier match. And it might be counterintuitive to some of you, but actually the, the more current is demanded for the amplifier to put out, the more it distorts. So, so while uh, you have uh, really hard to drive loudspeakers, if you throw a lot of power at it, it you will get uh, very high SPL, you will have good bass response, but your distortion figures will be worse, quite a bit worse compared to driving a loudspeaker that has a, a, a proper nominal impedance and does not require both loads of current and and in those cases actually <laughs> those speakers can give you even higher SPL and even more bass response compared to those speakers that uh, demand uh, so much from the amplifier so just a few food for thought but uh, what I wanted to say now is really the difference between the the two loudspeaker rating systems, the traditional uh, dB per watt meter or the dB per 2.83 volt meter. What's the difference between them? Because neither of these scales are perfect. Each have their pluses and minuses and uh, and if you've been like, let's say, a stereophile reader, you, you probably read a lot on those columns for, for both uh, negatives and positives for both systems. There is just one major and gigantic enormous difference that does not, I, I never saw it spelled out, maybe I wasn't paying enough attention. But if I wasn't, then probably hundreds of thousands of audiophiles like me, probably that you have missed it as well. That that critical difference is that the, the dB per watt meter uh, measuring system is the one that will make you, uh, that is a tool for you to help with loudspeaker selection. I mean, amplifier selection. The volt scale will not tell you whether that amplifier is suitable to drive that loudspeaker or not. In this modern system, when you have that 2.83 volt shown, it is an indication that you will need an arc welder. That's number one. That's why this system was created in the first place, to sell you those arc welders, because no one in his right mind would buy a loudspeaker that has a super low uh, dB per watt meter rating unless uh, you, you specifically are looking for that as in the case of uh, panel speakers, technologies which are especially built for that kind of driving requirements. But when we are talking about regular two or three way speakers that has like a, a plastic or paper cone woofers, like a uh, six to 10 inch woofer with a tweeter, then you expect this type of technology to be driven by a, a normal amplifier. And that's the reality that when this technology requires less power to drive, you have the potential for higher sound quality. And when the driving requirements are getting worse, that is your number one indication that the sound quality you will get from the speaker is not as good, the potential is not as good as what you could achieve from a better performer uh, loudspeaker. Because when you will look at the performance of a component, 
with the amplifiers the performance is measured by watts how many watts can that amp put out if it puts out twice as much watts it is considered like a twice more powerful loudspeaker with the speakers it is about the sensitivity if, if it can put out twice as much uh, SPL with the same power it's a twice more capable loudspeaker and when you are stepping down on the output efficiency output capability you are stepping back on the scale and of course to a certain degree you can compensate it with your amplifier so you can compensate the SPL you, compen you can compensate the bass with going higher in power but you cannot do anything about the distortion it's going to be higher than with the same amplifier compared to using a more capable loudspeaker with the same amplifier and of course you get a better amplifier it can produce lower distortion but if with that better amplifier you get the better loudspeaker that doesn't dip into into you know the depth of Lake Tahoe then uh, you will get a comparatively much better sound with much much lower distortion and much better for your ears and uh, I'm talking now to those of us those audiophiles and music lovers who are list who are into audio to have a better experience then this is what matters for you if you just want to own loudspeakers and amplifiers because uh, it, 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 it just requires loads of currents and, and that's your passion just go for it fine but but uh, that road might not be the one that will lead to the best possible sound quality just be aware of that it is certainly the road that will give you uh, a lot of um, buyers uh, happiness that you got that system that the magazines are really excited about but uh, just uh, be aware that those are paid reviews <laughs> then uh, when you read those reviewers who are churning out these reviews cheering oh, yeah yeah buy that speaker that needs the arc right there. yeah yeah get it get it uh, and then like uh, 10 or 20 articles later the same reviewer is telling you that when they are reviewing a loudspeaker that like a 16 ohm impedance and say oh now I wasn't in reviewer mode I was just listening to music it sounds so good uh, yeah that's why because the other one the arc ladder they, they, they thought this of that scenario but uh, they are not paid to, uh, to transmit that type of information or maybe I'm just being a little bit negative about it but uh, I've been you know reading those reviews for many decades uh, met lo loads of people who who are into audio who, who sell audio I practically lived for over a decade in an audio store so I, I saw a little bit more of that other side of, of the audio industry that that you don't see when you are just watching the the glossy news and, and the excited reviewers talking that yeah I have this arc ladder yeah let's let's use it for music listening uh, just to make noise can it make loud sound hell yeah it can but do I want to listen to it no I'm done with the review and I'm sending it back to the company and try to you know just flush my ears with you know sanitizer okay so let's get back to, to some serious stuff that will give you value uh, is that how to actually choose uh, the right choice of your amplifier for your loudspeaker and how you can do that you need two things number one you need to know what's the wattage of your amplifier and you need to know the speak loudspeaker db per watt meter rating not the 2.83 watts that won't tell you anything you need the watt and when you know that, that the speaker's db per watt meter rating if it's rated at 90 it will tell you that for one watt you are getting 90 db at one meter listening distance for a single channel and how that works out in your room is that if when you have a stereo system in an average size living room in your listening position 
take out 3 dBs from that rating that you get from the loudspeaker rating and the wattage of the amplifier driving it. And that's what you are getting as a peak capability from your system. So in the case of a 90 dB per watt meter uh, sensitive loudspeaker driven by one watt at your listening position with a stereo system in the average you will get 87 dB peak volume to listen to and um, that's pretty decent and most people mm, listen to lower than that it's considered like a loud volume but certainly I know a lot of people who, who want to listen way louder than that so and but uh, and and for them that's the le level that they want to listen when they listen to they don't listen to that every day they would go deaf within a month if they did that but they occasionally maybe once a month or or once every two or three months they they crank it up like that but they want that SPL they want like 110 dB and. Which, which actually it's so loud that for some people that's what you need, but for others it traumatizes you for life if you listen to it like that. So it depends a lot on your personality and on your needs, but for an average audiophile, uh, 90 dB is kind of okay if you just want to listen to normal music. If you want to listen to uh, like, like really loud music or like rock, rock out or loud jazz or something, that, 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 that resembles live music at the jazz club or at the symphony orchestra, then you want uh, a rating that is 102 dB per meter. So please remember that 102 number. So that's the dB per meter you want your system to reproduce and that's the number that uh, stereophile and absolute sound have been advocating in the past that that's what you need to get a live experience from your system in that case you are basically getting 99 db at your 99 db peak at your listening position and that's enough to give you a, a sound pressure level which is uh, comparable to an experience that you have in the average seat at, at, at the concert hall or when you are at a jazz club and then, then, then that will be fine. If you are at a rock concert you need much louder than that uh, of course but then that's what you will need to go for then you will need like 110 dB plus so add at least like 10-15 dB to your requirement if you want to do rock concerts like a like a live Aerosmith concert or something like that in your home. Uh, so, uh, also if you want to look for the 2.83 volt meter system, uh, you c if your loudspeaker is specified with that bogus uh, rating system, then you can use that only if your loudspeaker is rated at 8 ohms and it's true 8 ohms nominal, then you can use that specification number for sensitivity to work with the uh, amplifier output power. If not, that system is incompatible with the amplifier wattage in any other scenarios. So, I don't know, that's what's going on. Uh, anyway, nominal impedance, this is kind of a sidetrack, but uh, uh, I, I talked about this in my previous videos, you know what, I'm not talking about it now. <laughs> um, so, so eventually I covered this already in my previous video as well. So we are jumping to the end of my slides and, uh, and really what I wanted to tell uh, one more thing that you will need to figure out to, uh, to figure out whether your uh, amplifier is capable of driving your loudspeakers is that you need to convert your watts into dB. So basically let's say you have a 90 dB per watt meter sensitive loudspeaker and you have a 1 watt amplifier 
that will give you uh, 90 dB per meter uh, output per speaker. Now, if you have a, a 2 watt amplifier, you add 3 dB to that 90 dB. So now we have 93 dB. So uh, what is it that we need to get to that magical 102 dB number? You would need like plus 12 dBs for that 90 dB figure to make it 102, right? What, what is it? So 10 dB is 10 times the watts. So 10 times the watts means 10 dB because it's a logarithmic scale, not a linear. So you cannot multiply the, the dBs and the watts. No, they, they, they don't talk like that. Only in the case of one. If you have one watt, that's, that's, that's the zero dB. So then 90 dB, okay. If you have a 10 watt amplifier, then that adds 10 dB to the max output of your speaker. So now you have a, a 100 dB. That's getting pretty close to that uh, 102, right? And, uh, and if you want to, to calculate quickly slow, smaller scales, if you double the power of your amplifier, that's plus 3 dB. So if you have a, a, a 20 watt amplifier, that adds 13 dB to your loudspeaker's output capability. So your 90 becomes uh, 103. Now you have passed that 102 check mark. You can play loud music at home. And, um, and in the case when we look at, uh, well, there's lots of cases and we can look at them at a different video. So for now, thank you for watching and, uh, and I hope this session was informative for you and have a wonderful day and um, please like, subscribe and you can give me a cup of coffee if you, if you are up to it and have a wonderful day. Bye bye.